Our local libraries are some of the best places to explore the different cultures of the world. A recent concert at the Fort Bend County Siena Branch Library showcased a West African instrument called the kora. Sean Gaskell explains. So the kora is a 21-string harp. Uh, it's native to the Mandinka people who live in the countries of Gambia, Senegal, Mali, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau in West Africa. The kora is about 300 years old and it's one of three instruments that are native to the Mandinka people. The kora is typically played by people known as griots uh, who are within Mandinka society and the griots are historians and the kora is very significant because the griots use it to tell about their history uh, dating all the way back to the mid 13th century. So we have a, a calabash here at the bottom, that's the hard shell. It's been cut in half and all the seeds are taken out and then it's dried in the sun. Uh, they put a cow skin over the open half of it and then they, they nail it to the back. And then there's three holes into the calabash and two of those are so that the neck here can go all the way through. And then the last hole over here is so that the, the sound can come out. And everything is held together uh, by the tension of all the strings here. These are handlebars, so these are held with the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky finger on each hand. And then the plucking happens with the thumbs and the index fingers. I first found out about the Cora in 2006. My dad invited me to a folk festival in Olympia, Washington, which is my hometown. And there was an American Cora player, and I was really moved and wanted to learn how to play. And he ended up putting me in touch with uh, the two teachers in Gambia, both kora players, uh, that he had studied with numerous times before. And I went and studied with them in 2008 and 2012. Uh, this first song is one that I wrote, and it's called Somanda. Uh, the word Somanda is Mandinka, and it means morning. Every region really has its own stylistic differences within the same song. Uh, even further than that, I would say every musician has their own individual style. It's very encouraged for musicians to uh, give it their own flavor and to come up with their own improvisation. Uh, the music is very uh, similar, the traditional music I should say, is very similar to the way that American jazz and blues came about. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that suggests that those two genres initially came from the Mandinka music. So it's just, it's very improvisational, very flowy in nature. There's not a whole lot of um, structure unless you want it to be. Uh, I mean, I personally play in a way that's a little bit more repetitive, but a lot of core players don't. A lot of them will just have a lot of improvisation and not a whole lot of solid melody, and others will do the exact opposite. So it's, there's a whole range. It's usually a first time exposure for 95% of the people that I play for. Um, you know, for me, the goal is just to expose them to this because it's such a beautiful instrument and I think it should be known about. For more information about Fort Bend County Libraries, visit www.fortbend.lib.tx.us. For Stafford Weekly News, I'm Phil Logan.